fundamentally, I started off as a rugby fan. And like a lot of people that become professional rugby players, it's important that you keep the balance of still being a rugby fan and also driving for the excellence of it being your job and wanting to win trophies. I've only got fond memories of Yorkshire, really. It's a bit of a constant in my life. It always has been to be able to come back to Yorkshire, just regroup a little bit and see the family. Oh. You managed to win? Yeah, we got the win, yeah. You didn't score, then? No, I didn't score, no. Uh, I, don't, I don't do tries. No. <laughs> you know, I think my dad's been my biggest fan, but also my biggest critic, so it's good to have both sides of that. Yeah, scrawny there, wasn't it? We certainly were. I think that oh. one had the year up. Oh, yeah. Five years old, I had to have quite a serious operation for heart surgery, which was sort of stopped me in my tracks a little bit, I suppose. Never, ever remember any time where it was held back or mollycoddled, for want of a better word. <laughs> but he starved to death if you had to feed him every morning. <laughs> yeah. Once I was fixed, I was fixed and just cracked on. Ooh, look at them lovely brown eggs. Yeah, you can go get them fired up then. <laughs> sort of seven or so, I started playing at Pock, Pocklington Mini and Juniors, which was a real focal point of my childhood, really, and my, and my brother. The legend report taught me everything I <laughs> know. My poor old mum, I guess she's kind of been thrust into the rugby world. I mean, uh, husband that enjoyed it and two boys that enjoyed it. Then, well, she's like the mother of, her, of everybody. You know, she used to do a lot of cooking, still doing the cooking in this yeah. age. You know. She's there. <laughs> the last 20 some years I've been down here <laughs> helping yeah. out. We're, we eat very healthily at this club. Sausage As much as we've given the club, it's given us more. <laughs> I think Pocklington IOC is just a big family, really. We're about junior section. Thank you very much. Everyone looks out for everyone, everyone volunteers, everyone chips in and helps out and um, takes care of each other, really. Oh, with your days out to the seaside, as many who wanted to come went with us. I think like the Yorkshire coastline on a... <laughs> for a bonding day. You could see he was going to be a professional. He always wanted what we wanted to do from being 10 years old. It was said. I think when he was under nine, that level played for England. I think he scored nine tries back then in one game. I scored all my tries when I was nine, you see. So I don't get any anymore. I feel lucky to have had such a good club as a young guy that I think really grounded me in terms of the values of rugby. I went to a, a good school that I enjoyed going to. The teachers were pretty helpful. A good group of mates that I'm still mates with today. Seriously, you okay? Yeah. First team rugby pitch, the field of dreams. <laughs> I think rugby was a solid basis for friendship, and, and obviously, you know, free tickets to Twickenham and stuff like that help. The team used to get posters, didn't it? Yeah. On the wall. Nervous Wednesday mornings, but you always, well, it was nervous for me, you always went to the team. The team motto was kiss. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. I think he was uh, talking to you, though. Yeah. Andy Towner was a big influence, I think, in my rugby. You know, he was probably the most knowledgeable man about rugby that I knew growing up. This will tell you about Rob. Oh my gosh. Goodness. When was that? I don't know, but it's not my best picture. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Rob Webber update. Rob Webber will play in the next World Cup. Optimist. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> yeah, I owe him a lot, I think. He, he set me on the path and, and through the relationships that the school had with the Leeds Tigers Academy as it was then, you think, yeah, hang on, I can maybe do this. This is maybe something I want to be a part of. Yeah, that, I think that's probably the thing I'm most proud of, that he's still in touch with us all. I met some great memories, I uh, met some great people and that sort of essence of team spirit and camaraderie and respect that rugby and sport can give kids, I think is, um, is fantastic. Oh, there's some good players to be Yeah, there are. There's some absolutely massive guys in that team. They're big lads, aren't they? Oh, I think Rob must be incredibly important for the next generation. Local boy done good, he's a great storyline, isn't it? If Rob can do that, there's no reason why they can't do that as well. Definitely would encourage any kids to, to go and give it a go and you know I think they'll reap the benefits of it even if they don't get to the top end of the game.